Well, I'm Vasara. Mm -hmm. um, I've always been really into body art. I knew when I was a little kid that I was going to get a lot of tattoos and piercings. So my first one was before I turned 18. That's this one here. And um, it was done by a friend of mine who was like a hobbyist tattoo artist. And he would always have these like Playboy magazines and he would be doodling with Sharpie marker tattoo designs on them. And I saw one that I really liked and I was like, can you put that on me? So that was my first one. And then my second one was done by the same guy. And that's this one across my shoulders. And it was done to kind of match this one down here. But the symbol in the middle of it is my best friend's sigil. It's like the personal symbol that represents him. And um, he has mine tattooed on him too. So cool. we're always with each other. Because he's like my big brother. And then this I got on my birthday, my last birthday, because I'm from New Mexico. It's the New Mexico, New Mexico sign from the flag. And um, I've been learning more about like my birthright and my heritage because it's it's kind of new to me. Um, so this was kind of like my New Mexico pride thing. And then I have this tattoo and nobody can tell what it is. <laughs> I think I'm among them. Yeah. I, I see a couple letters. I see a D and an L. That's what a lot of people think it's letters. It's but, not. And this is why I don't draw my own tattoos anymore. It's a tribal gargoyle. See, like, there's, oh, I can there's see the it. wing. Okay. Yeah. There's his little foot and, like, his head. And maybe I should give him ears. And there's his tail. But nobody can tell what it is, so I don't draw my own tattoos anymore. Um, well, what does a gargoyle mean to you? He watches over me. Okay. You know, it's like, it's like a protection thing. So he's my little guardian gargoyle is always right there. And then um, I studied Taoism, and um, I started learning about small seal script, which was the origins for Chinese writing. It predates the first dynasty. And um, I got some of that tattooed on me. I, unlike most people's kanjis, mine are upside down to the viewer, because they're right side up to me, because they're for mm -hmm. me. So <laughs> <laughs> if you're not sitting next to me, it's hard. But this one, um, this one I changed. This is a phonetic that means like your heart, your mind, your spirit. And this is the symbol for the earth, which actually hasn't changed. In modern Chinese, it's the same. And this is a symbol for hand, but I altered it to be the modern symbol for hand because I'm not that old. <laughs> um, but when you put all this together, this, this word doesn't exist in modern. It, it kind of means a lot of things at once. It means um, strange, genius, prodigy, ugly, crazy, beautiful. Like it means all these things at once because the Taoists say that if you live with your heart over the earth and like are in tune with your instinct, then other people are going to look at you and think that you're weird and that you're crazy, but you're kind of a genius too. You're just different. So, and this was the first tattoo I got with any color. It's got a touch of red because I always wanted it to look like it was raw, like it was fresh. Mm -hmm. And then um, this one, <laughs> this symbol means purity. And these are two hands, that's the old version of the hand. And when you put them together like that, it means the cessation of competition. And when you put these together, it means like, like a stillness or a silence. And the Taoists, you ask them, what is beyond the gods? And they say beyond the gods is silence. And it kind of means like, when you find your center and you stop competing with yourself and you stop struggling, then you find that still. Mm -hmm. So, to remind me. <laughs> cool. And this is my mistake, and it's getting removed. <clears throat> this was an impulsive tattoo. I got this like crazy hair up my butt and was like, oh, I'm going to go get inked. And it's the only modern Chinese on me. And um, the person that was doing it was an apprentice, and it doesn't actually say anything. <laughs> it's, it's really messed up. What are you going to get a cover? You're going to get it I'm removed? I'm getting it removed to make a clean slate because mm. I'm getting a totem pole that's going to start here. Well, the snake head is going to come down my hand a little. And the totem pole is probably going to end about here with the vulture. So that's a really big project. There's a lot of drawing going into it. And obviously, I'm not the one drawing it. So it's going to be a while before it's done. Mm.